Everything's chocolate about this guy. Vicious blows Not to the head up. in the section. Oh, he's got him cornered. Working him over with a purple boot. Like a rabid hey, dog getting him in the boots. corner. Purple boots. Remember, we had Stalin Shade Eden was beat down by purple boots, apparently. And uh, well, that's who as knows? purple as purple boots I've ever seen. Could this be the man that beat down Stalin Shane Eden? There it is. A Hershey's kiss. And you didn't even have to take that little white wrapper off this Hershey's kiss. No. That put out the masked man as hot chocolate Corey Williams. Melted him down in no victory. time. I was talking, like I said earlier, I was talking to hot shot Corey Williams. He was bragging to his friends. In spare time, guess what he likes to do? Guess what he likes to do in his spare time? What's hot chocolate doing in his spare time? Kick people's butt. Can't hot get chocolate's enough of uh, it for some reason. Usually Can't one not at a loss chocolate. for words. We'll come over to our broadcast booth, I'm sure. He's, he's usually a pretty good interview, and I just like it when guys don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I've got a six foot eight broadcast partner. Ask him about those purple boots he's got on. Hot chocolate. We had a report the other day, you know, that uh, Stalin Shade Eden was beaten down by uh, maybe some purple boots. And I'm colorblind, but I think my partner here told me, my six foot eight partner, said that your boots may maybe were a shade of purple. I don't know. Hey, I heard about what happened to Stalin Shane Eden. I just want y'all to know one thing. I was at home asleep when that happened. I don't know nothing about it. You know, I'm tired of getting blamed for everything. Hey. Purple boots like these are a dime a dozen. Look all around the wrestling world. Everybody wears purple boots now. It's the color. Now, what it is, I tell you what, y'all supposed to have some kind of footage. Tape, apparently, yeah, apparently we've got a tape that shows purple boots just like yours, which, like I said, I'm colorblind. I don't, but my partner, my six foot eight, 275 pound partner says that, me in the Hey, he's six foot eight, 275. I'm 5'11", 199. Read your sheets, okay? I'm a cruiserweight. The big dumb hillbilly over here is a heavyweight. But I'll still smack you down. I just came out here yeah, yeah you sit there and you hold that microphone. Right. And besides, your radio show stinks anyway. Right. I don't even like your radio show. Okay. And as for you, go step on over here. Hey, it's not often. Hey, it's not often you see two celebrities, Hot Chocolate and Jack Nicholson, the Joker right here. It's not often you see that. But, like I said, they talked it up footage. They're trying to set me up like they did OJ and trying to say it was me and my purple boots. I was at home asleep. I don't know nothing about it, okay? Apparently that footage has uh, been that, lost. Huh? Uh, from, uh, this guy has got some kind of attitude, doesn't he? I, I think there may be a conspiracy of uh, wrestling fans with the footage that showed styling Shane Eden being beaten down by what apparently was uh, someone with purple boots and, and uh, contrary to Hot Chocolate's uh, comments, I think purple boots are a little bit more than a dime a dozen. What, what do you say, big man? I, I think you're right. Why don't you get over here and do the interviews? You're bigger, you can do the interviews with these guys. They we'll told push, me just to come me out here, and sit Batman right here, talk so, about who's out there. That's all they told know, me to some, do. You know, the reason I didn't go get a midget like Dink to be my broadcast partner, although he did interview and was very good, was so I could have someone protect me when these clowns came up here. And it, hey, it all I'm so out here to do is to talk behind this thing and talk about who's in the ring. That's all I'm here to do, I'm sorry. And, and shine this belt. 